what's up welcome to today's vlog um this is going to be a sub vlog i think that's what i'm gonna call them a sub vlog i'm gonna do this kind of like how i did the cooking um one when I, we made adobo how that was in the same day as another vlog whatever i'm just gonna this is gonna be a separate video we are going to be making today a peach cobbler slash peach pie now I don't know, and correct me if I'm a matter of fact, I'm sure you know, so comment down below. So what had happened was, I had watched Arnell and Masego, they made a peach cobbler. And I, I love peach cobbler, it's like my favorite dessert, but I just always thought it more complicated to make, you know? So I've never attempted to make it. But she made it look real easy, so I'm just, I'm not even gonna use a recipe, I'm literally gonna go just from the dome and see, um, if I can make me a little peach cobbler. Now, what I was getting at was, correct me if I'm wrong, but I was told that the difference between a cobbler and a pie is that a cobbler doesn't have a bottom crust. That um, a pie, a cobbler just got the crust on top, but the, the rest is filling. And a pie would have a pie crust, and then the filling, and then the optional topping or whatever. So the way she made it, she put the crust on the bottom and on the top, so I would assume that that's a pie, if that's the correct definition of it. So we making peach pie slash cobbler, um, you decide. So yeah, I got my little, my little saucepan over here warming up because um, the first step was to make like the filling, which it looked really simple. She just did some butter, um, some sugar, and some brown sugar. And then I think she seasoned it a little bit with some, uh, oh yeah, she put some vanilla extract and some ground cinnamon in there. Um, and that was the filling. And then I have our peaches here, and then I got some pie crust. And I don't want to make like a deep dish. That's another reason why I don't think this is going to be a cobbler and more so of a pie. I don't want mine to be so deep. So I'm going to make mine in a pie pan. So that's the depth that I want. And I, that's kind of personal preference. I don't necessarily like all of like the, it's be too much filling, not enough crust. So I want to make more of like a peach pie. So that is what we are going to try to get today. So I'm going to get some butter. <coughs> And I'm about to butter this pie pan a little bit. Just rub it all around there. I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but this is what I'm gonna do because I don't want any issues with sticking and everything like that. So I done buttered my pan, and she mentioned that um, <clears throat> with the pie crust, because of like the peach filling, um, sometimes the bottom crust doesn't cook as much as it should, I guess. So I'm so she like she cooked the bottom press first for a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. Matter of fact, let me preheat this oven. I don't even know what temperature is supposed to go on because I forgot what the girl said. But I'm just gonna put it on 325 because I feel like it's a nice moderate temperature. You know, it ain't 400. 375 seems a bit much. And then this is our pie crust. Oh, this is a big crust. I don't need all that in. This is what the pie crust looks like, and as you see, there's like some excess, so I'm gonna use my kitchen shears, um, and I'm just gonna trim around. I mean, honestly, I could just rip it off, but you know, man invented tools for a reason, and you know, I'm, I'm new to the kitchen, so I just wanna use them, all right? Is that okay with you? And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven for just a couple minutes just to get it a little, a little pre-bake, if you will. And then while we do that, while we do that, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the filling. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take maybe just a half a stick of butter. I don't actually know how much butter you're supposed to use, but I'm going to be using a half a stick and I am going to put this in our pot to begin melting it. And now her recipe, the way she was making it, it called for a cup of sugar and a cup of brown sugar. I feel like I'm making a smaller pie. She was making like a, a bigger deep dish pie that she fit three cans of peaches in. I just use, I'm using one big can. We just gonna do a half a cup of sugar.
and then a half a cup of brown sugar. Ooh, I just know somebody's uh, somebody's grandmother is turning in her grave right now or how wrong I'm probably making this. And quiet as it's kept, this don't look like it's enough butter either. So I'm about to add the rest of that stick of butter in there. So suck on that. I went ahead and added just another quarter stick of butter and we'll see how that does. And then if it requires a whole, the, the rest of the stick, then I can add that in after. And y'all, I went ahead and took the crust out. I don't know what she talked about, but I don't want my crust shrinking and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna cook it the regular way. I'm not gonna pre-bake my crust cause I don't know, it's looking a little suspect over there. Yeah, you see now with that extra butter, it's, uh, it's starting to, you know, soften up a bit. Yeah. All right, now we cook it with gas. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the ground cinnamon, which she didn't say, oh my God, she didn't say how much. And I just don't feel like I, it'd be real cinnamony when I'm eating peach pie, so I'm just gonna put that much in some vanilla extract. She didn't, oh my God, oh, oh my God, I didn't know, oh, it just poured out, that may be too much. Oh, Jesus, dang it. Um. Gosh, dog it, I did not mean to put that much vanilla in there because I don't think she put that much. But it just kind of spilled out, y'all. Oh, eesh. all right, we, I, listen, I don't know. But you know what? Ain't nothing in here raw that I can't taste, so I'm about to go ahead and taste it and see what she talking about. But it's giving a nice consistency right now. Let me, let me show you some. Let me, look. Yeah, all right, all right, let me go ahead and taste a little bit of the air. I know it's probably hot. Oh! Well, shut your mouth. Oh, that's... You said... Girl, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, all right, okay. Matter of fact, we can put a little bit more cinnamon up in there. All right, now we cooking with gas. Yeah, oh my God, I just spilled the vanilla extract all over the stove. Oh. But yeah, I got our little, look at that. Yeah, let me just taste it one more time since I added that cinnamon in there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh that's good. That is good, sweetie. Okay. Um. Peaches, I need to strain the peaches. So we don't put all of this juice from the peaches in the actual pie, so we're gonna strain it. However, I do know a little bit of it is actually gonna go into our filling mix. So right now, I just, I opened the can, but I have the lid on so that the juice can come out and out without any of the peaches falling out. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna strain, I'm gonna pour some of this juice into the actual filling. I don't know how much it is I'm supposed to put in there. But I'm just going to put a couple more spoonfuls. I mean, it don't taste like peach, but I feel like it's, it maybe is supposed to because it's a peach cobbler. I don't know. I went ahead and added some of our peach juice to the concoction over here. Now, as you see, it made it a lot more watery, which she said you don't want it to be too soupy when you bake it. So what she did was add some flour into it as like a binder, a binder or like a thickening agent. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of flour. Yeah, I don't know how much flour one would want to add, but I'm just gonna eyeball it and do what looks about right, I guess. Okay, so I was looking at the little instructions on the pie thing, and this is talking about you need to put bake it for 425 degrees. I'm up here talking about 325 because I want it too hot. Oh no, honey. So we about to raise this temperature to 425. Let it preheat like that, but everything pretty much is all set. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and put the filling in the pie and then we'll put the top crust on and then by then the oven should be preheated and be ready to go. So because I'm lazy and I don't wanna like take these out and cut them up, I'm just gonna get my knife and go in the can and just kinda chop them while they're in the can cause it's easier. I'm not about to take all of these peaches out of this can and slice them up all nice one by one. No, so I'm just cutting them up. Look at that, and it's working. And it's working. 
Gonna take my pie crust. Um, I know she also poked holes in it, so I'm gonna get a fork and poke some holes in it. I don't know why or what this does. Oh, it probably keeps it from bubbling like it did. Damn it. It's okay, it's okay, first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour some of our peaches up in there. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Right, we're just gonna spread those around like that there. Now look, you see that the pie crust done shrunk because when I cut it, it was originally around the thing. Maybe it's because I didn't poke holes in it first. I don't know what the holes were supposed to do, but maybe it would have prevented that. Ooh, I do not want that big chunk to come out. All right, come on out, come on out. There you go. I think that's, you think that's enough? I think that may be enough, right? No, should I do more? I just, I feel like it's a, it's a bit much. And then we grab our sauce that we made and we kind of just pour that in there too. Oh yeah, I think mine might be a little bit more runny. I feel like when she poured hers, it was a lot thicker and it wasn't as liquidy. But I know it tastes good, I know that much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh yeah, that looks good, right, y'all? That look, I don't know how much of it I was supposed to pour on there. But I didn't use it all, I just used like majority of it, but you know, I think that's that's decent. I'll take our second pie crust. Come on out. There we go. And unroll her. Just go, I mean, just plop it on there, I guess. Pow, just like it. I'm gonna take real thin slices of the butter and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it on top and it's gonna melt, you know, it, it's gonna melt and spread out in the oven. All right, and then the last thing you do, I remember this, you wanna cover the edges because they'll burn in there with foil. So I'm gonna get foil. put the pie on the foil and then use the edges to wrap around. Boom, so there is our pie with the butter, the foil, all of that. The oven is now preheated to 425 degrees. She said it gotta cook for like 30 to 40 minutes, so that's what we're gonna do. Oh no. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want no spillage or anything like that, so I'm actually going to, cause I'm not cleaning out the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and put my pie on top of a tray and then put it in there. Perfect, and then we will come back to see how it turned out. Meanwhile, I'm about to eat these peaches cause they is looking mighty fine today, hello. Mm -hmm. Oh no, mm-hmm. Ooh, and with my leftover sauce, I'll just give a little dollop in there, a little dipsy. Mm. All right, this is our pie. It looks all golden brown and delicious. You see, I ain't got no burnt edges thanks to my little foil barrier. But yeah, it's looking good. So we're going to let her rest for a bit. In fact, I'm actually gonna cook me some dinner for tonight. And yeah, I'll show you guys the outcome. We'll see if it's, if it's too liquidy like I thought it might be. So now is the moment we've all been waiting for to see how my cobbler came out. Now, I think it's gonna be a little too uh, runny in the inside just because I put too much uh, of the juice, but we gonna see, come, 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 we gonna, show, we gonna show the people. Let's go ahead and cut into it. Oh yeah, it's real flaky. Oh yeah, okay, so you gotta scoop this out. <laughs> it's too juicy. Mm, okay. 
Gonna put it in a bowl because we got that ice cream. But it don't look too bad. Okay. Hold on, we gonna have uh, my assistant give it, do the taste test. Go ahead. What is hitting on? Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yay! All right, so now we need some ice cream. Okay. Mm. Yay, it came out good. Yeah, this is really good. Ooh, yay! Ooh, she said it was really good. Mm -mm -mm. Now, let me, as a matter of fact, I need to taste it now. I want to see what she's talking about. Go ahead and dip in here. I'll see what, she, what she's giving. Oh, that is really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. All right. Well, there it is. Thank you, Arnell, for uh, inspiring me to make this peach pie. Again, I don't know if it's a cobbler or a pie. Y'all let me know down in the comments below because I don't feel like Googling it because I'm about to get some ice cream and eat my pie cobbler. So, um... Thank you for watching today's vlog. Comment down below on what you want. What else? What else you want to see me cooking? Don't put something too hard either. Yeah. Anyways, bye, y'all.